In the early years of Putin's Russia, 2000s and early 2010s, the Russian-speaking internet was not censored and was a free forum for opinions on all kinds of political, cultural and societal issues. The Russian Orthodox Church was probably near the peak of her political influence back then, but due to the freedom of speech online, there was still a strong pushback from the anti-clerical and anti-religious people. The church and the state were accused of the unholy alliance, the violation of the secular laws, and the abuse of political power by the church leadership. Religious activists, in turn, also tried their best to stand their ground or even win more rights and influence. They referred to many secular practices and regulations as a discrimination and a violation of their religious rights. One of such cases was the Russian version of the Monkey Trial, a court case against human evolution being taught in public schools. The name Monkey Trial refers to the notorious legal case of 1925 in the American state of Tennessee where the school teacher John T. Scopes was accused of teaching human evolution in a public school, which was a violation of the prior legislation that prohibited the denial of the creation account from the book of Genesis. The trial gained a huge notoriety and media attention, and it is widely referred to as the battle between secular science and religion in education. Some 90 years after that, in 2006, a 16-year-old schoolgirl named Maria Schreiber, with the support of her father Kirill and his colleague, a PR professional Anton Vuima, filed a complaint against the Ministry of Education and the St. Petersburg's Department of Education for pushing the Darwin's theory without an alternative in public schools. The plaintiff claimed that the course book on biology insulted the religious feelings of Maria. Her team demanded to offer theories of the origins of man alternative to evolution because they believed that children should be entitled to different positions. During the trial, both sides invited experts to testify for their positions. Maria's side invited the famous creationist Sergei Vertianov, widely known as an author of the alternative school book on biology based on the literal reading of the book of Genesis, namely Young Earth Creationism, that claims that the Earth was created in six literal days and the first man, Adam, was created at once. This view denies not only human evolution, but biological and geological evolution in general, and claims that the Earth is about 7,000 years old. One of the witnesses from the defendant's side was one of the actual authors of the book that allegedly triggered Maria's religious feelings, Professor Sergei Mamontov. He denied all the accusations. Eventually, in 2007, the court rejected Maria's demands. Some time later, another court rejected her appeal. The theory of evolution remained in the school program throughout the country. The trial gained national attention and was widely discussed in the media and online by the supporters of both sides. However, despite the growing influence of the Russian Orthodox Church in secular education, hard sciences have not been much affected. The church herself does not have a clear position on evolutionary theories and unlike evangelical Protestants, Russian Orthodox Christianity is not biblically literalist. Social sciences and humanities in the Russian academia are deeply infiltrated by the loyalist and patriotic ideas. However, the strong influence of the Soviet scientist ideology still does not interfere with biology, geology, physics, chemistry and other hard sciences. Despite the poor funding and infrastructure, researchers do not have to take into account religious feelings in their theoretical or empirical research, at least so far. Please like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. I see you all next time.